Tyagaraja was born, as I said, in Thiruvarur, and he was named after the presiding deity there, Tyagaraja. Tyagaraja is the name of the, the presiding deity there is actually Shiva, Lord Shiva, who is um, manifested there as Tyagaraja. Tyagaraja meaning the king of renunciates. But Tyagaraja the Vagyakara sang extensively on Sri Rama. Uh, that was Sri Rama was his Ishta Devata. Rama who is the who is regarded as the seventh incarnation of Lord Vishnu, whose story is celebrated in the Ramayana, which has been rewritten in various regional languages and which is the source of endless stories and uh, recreations and songs and uh, myths and uh, architecture. Sri Rama was his Ishta Devata, that is his chosen God. And this is um, the luxury that you have in Hinduism, that though there is a pantheon of gods, it's up to the individual to choose which God he wants to worship. Now, the freedom to choose uh, arises from the basic conviction that though we speak of various forms of God, there is, it, it's ultimately one. Ekam Sat Mipra Mahudhavadanti, this is uh, something that is found in the Vedas. So, uh, it is ultimately one principle which we speak of as manifested in various forms. So, Tyagaraja's Ishta Devata was Sri Rama and he composed extensively on, on Rama, speaking to Rama, complaining to him, beseeching him, in various moods, describing him. And Tyagaraja, when he was young, he was tutored in Telugu and Sanskrit by his father. Uh, musical um, education was first by way of uh, listening to his mother's songs. Uh, it is said that she used to sing songs of Purandaradasa, Madhurachala Ramadasa and Andamaya and uh, that was the kind of um, musical exposure that Tyagaraja had. Later on he did undergo formal training under Sunti Venkat Subbaya who was a court musician at Tanjavur. Um, though Tyagaraja was born in Thiruvaru, his, the family had shifted to Thiruvayaru, which is a small, uh, it's a smaller town, almost a village uh, near Thiruvaru. Uh, Thiruvayaru, the word, the name itself contains a reference to five rivers, of which Kaveri is one. And um, Tyagaraja lived in Thiruvayaru for most of his life. He made just one uh, pilgrimage, uh, but otherwise he was, he lived for most of his life in Tiruvayaru. Tyagaraja's family was originally a Telugu family, uh, what is called the Kakarla, a sect. And uh, for a few generations they had settled in uh, in and nearby Tanjavur, in Thiruvarur and then finally in Thiruvayaru. And um, he composed mostly in Telugu and a few compositions also in Sanskrit. Uh, his, as I said, most of his compositions are in praise of or have reference to Lord Rama, but he has also composed on um, other deities like Lord Shiva, um, the goddess Kartikeya and uh, Krishna and other deities. The, the most uh, striking feature of Tyagaraja's output is the sheer variety. He has composed in a variety of ragas, Ghananaya Deshya ragas. He has composed in Helakarta ragas, Vivali ragas. Uh, Talas also he has 
there is a great variety in the Laya also. He has, he has composed slower compositions, faster compositions. Um, and um, the textual content in terms of the meaning, you have a lot of moods that you can uh, see in Tyagaraja's compositions. For instance, if uh, just if you take a raga Todi, he has composed about uh, two dozen kritis in Todi raga, and um, each of them different from the other. The 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 kritis movement is different. The beginning is different. The moods are different. In Kalyani, he must have composed about he has composed about twenty. So also in Shankarabharanam. So, um, this sort of variety really marks Thyagaraja out. In a short while, we will take a look at the various moods and themes that you find in uh, Thyagaraja's compositions. But um, uh, in general, the structure of his compositions follows the Pallavi Anupallavi Charanam format. Um, quite often, there are multiple Charanams. And um, the Ankita that he uses, his signature, is Tyagaraja. In every composition of his, you have the uh, his signature is included, is Tyagaraja, in in a meaningful way, of course, saying that Tyagaraja says this or Tyagaraja worships you, and so on. One um, important. Um, contribution of Tyagaraja's work is what is called Sangati. Now, Sangati is actually variation of a line of the composition. Raghuvira, Ranadhira, Rara, Rajakumara. So this is the Pallavi of a very beautiful composition in the Raga Husaini, Rupakatana. Now Pallavi is this Raghuvira, Ranadhira, Rara, Rajakumara. All this Raghuvira, Ranadhira all addressing Rama, Rajakumara is also addressing Rama. Rama. Tyagaraja is asking him to come, Rara. Him. Mm, the, the line goes like the first line is like this Raghuvira Ranadhira Rara Rajakumara. Now, the same line is sung in with some variation Raghuvira Ranadhira Rara Raja Kumara Raghuvira Ranadhira Rara Raja Kumara So I just sung one extra, one Sangati. The, first, the initial uh, setting of the Pallavi line is in a certain way. Now we, there are gentle variations introduced in a step by step way in order to bring out the mood of the line. Let us watch um, Professor V. V. Subramanian teaching this song and you can see how the Sangatis are being taught and how the variations are slowly built up. Ranadhira, 
Raja Kumara 